legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I got rare skills and also made about 93 million gold and i'm still making gold from rare skills i'm going to share with you all my secrets and tips so that you too can get rare skills okay so there is going to be a new update very soon for perfect world mobile which will include giving us soul hunter now with soul hunter soul hunter comes with buffs for blade masters and vulpines so that would make it a wise move to start making blade master or vulpine skills this is especially good if you plan on making a blade master or a vulpine in the future i am actually going to probably transfer to a soul hunter and then to a blade master. So that's why I'm making some really nice skills. And I made this Drake Bane. All right, this Drake Bane, one of the key skills for the new blade master. Okay, I'm calling it a new blade master because he is so buffed. At rank 15, Drake Bane will actually give you 15% crit rate for eight seconds. The new skill, when they buff it after Soul Hunter is introduced very soon, I, I don't know the exact date, but Blade Master will have it for 10 minutes. It won't be, I don't think it should be. I think, I think they reduced the crit rate buff to seven and a half percent at level 15, but it is still for 10 minutes. So it's a seven and a half percent crit rate buff so at this moment when soul hunters coming out it is a good idea that if you're going to become a blade master or a vulpine go ahead and buy up the cheaper skills and start making skills and hopefully you'll be able to get a rare skill now the rate of making skills is like it goes like this you have a 43 and a half percent chance of making a normal Sage 1 or Demon 1 skill. You have a 27% chance of a Sage 2 or Demon 2 skill. You have an 18.6% 18 and a 18 chance of a Sage 3 or Demon 3 regular skill. You have a 9.9% .9 chance of a Sage 4 or a, or a Demon 4 skill. All right, so that's still not bad. You can get the Sage 4 or demon force skills 10 percent of the time and that actually is key not for not for this time not for blade masters but for when sage four and demon four skills start when they introduce the uh, the rank four skills sage four and demon four skills you can make a ton of gold selling those better skills when Rage Burst just came out, when Sage 4 Rage Burst is a barbarian skill where you can pull everyone together and then you can roar and then stun them, that skill was extremely important for barbarians and it sold like as soon as you list it. The same day they would sell for 2.6 million gold coins. And I actually made probably more gold off of the 2.6 million rage bursts than i did off of swifts because rare skills are so rare they are incredibly rare uh, i if you if you get king's roar eternal any of those skills are so rare the, how rare they are is if you remember the, the the percentages i gave you under normal skills 43 and a half 27 18.6 9.9 that adds up to 99 percent you have one percent chance at a rare skill okay so if you are combining three skills each time you will have on average on average out of an infinite number of tries on average it will be 
every hundred tries. That's 300 skills. You combine 300 skills, on average, you are going to get one rare skill. Now, don't, and there is no law of averages. If you combine 50 times, don't get it in your head that within the next 50 times, you are guaranteed to get a rare skill. That's not true. You could be really unlucky. Now, out of that 1% chance of getting a rare skill, 40% of the time, it will be a Sage 1 or Demon 1 skill. And that's why you see so many Serenities. You see so many Swifts. You see so many Sage 1, Sage 2, Demon 1, Demon 2 skills. It gets a whole lot harder to get Sage 3, uh, Demon 3, Sage 4, and Demon 4 skills. The reason why is of that 1%, 40% of the time, it's Sage 1 or, Sage, or, or Demon 1. 30% of the time, it is going to be Sage 2 or Demon 2. 20% of the time, of that 1%, 20% of 1%, it's going to be a Sage 3 or Demon 3 skill. Now, your Sage 4 or Demon 4 skills are so hard to get. It is 10% of 1%. So, so if you see a Sage 4 or Demon 4 skill, that you have to have once you know that it is a tenth of one percent this is the SSSR that it's that if it's key to your class for example like Deadeye if it's a Deadeye and it's it's key to Demon Archer if it's if it's Blade Wind if it is key to Sage Assassins those skills are worth a lot Okay, because it is almost impossible to make them 10% of 1%. However, when you do see them, do I? Uh, you don't have to tell the person who's selling it. <laughs> you don't have to say, hey, look, you have a great skill. It's only 10% of 1%, but you just know how much it's worth. That can help you know how much to sell that skill because you may never combine that skill again. Now, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell so you know when the next video comes out, and comment below to be entered to win a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card on November 30th, 2020. Alright, so there are some other skills that you can make bank on. For example, for Barbarians, there is also Black Shell. There is also uh, their sweep, sweep. I, I sold a lot of sweeps for one million gold. Black shell also one point eight million gold. Now, now on my healer, healers are extremely. Their skills are worth a lot of money. I think healing class is perhaps one of the most expensive uh, classes to have skills for. There are a lot of clerics on my server. Pretty much all three. Of the Sage 4 skills sold for a lot of gold. Flash Heal, um, all, all three of those skills sold for very well. And uh, on Archers, there was one skill, I can't remember the name of it, but it where you whenever you evaded, you did 10% more damage. That skill sold for a lot of gold. I think about 1.5 mil all the time. And also, what you have to keep in mind is that this phase does go away once all of the archers, clerics, healers, uh, tanks, whatever, once they have their skills, you don't want to keep too much of an inventory because those Sage 4 or Sage 3 skills will drop in value rapidly when there's no demand for them. The next spike in demand for skills comes when certain classes are buffed. For example, when soul hunters are introduced, more than likely, demon clerics will be buffed. Blade masters are getting buffed, and vulpines are getting buffed. So that you might want to, if you want to change those classes, it's a good idea to start making those skills now. When you class change, you do not keep your skills I mean, the skills do not transfer to the new class. You have to buy the new skills. If you transfer over and transfer back, 
you all the skills you've learned in that class you still know. However, you know no skills if you transfer to a skill uh, to a class that you've never been before. Now the next thing that people ask me is is there any benefits for combining higher level skills? Like is it better if I only combined uh, level three skills like sage three skills together or uh, if only if I combine sage two skills together or sage four skills there is no higher chance for combining higher level skills you're just wasting gold because higher level skills are going to sell more than sage one or demon one skills I recommend that you only combine sage one and demon one skills because they are worth the least unless there is so little demand for the sage 2 or the sage 3 class, uh, skills so that you can't even sell them and it's clogging up your inventory might as well combine and hopefully you get a rare skill now for the blade masters i am actually combining a little bit too many sage 2 and demon 2 skills I won't be able to sell that many and so I am actually testing it I am actually combining sage 2 and demon 2 skills as well some people like to combine big stacks of skills like you can put 50 skills into your crucible and combine them I've never gotten a rare skill when I combine huge lots of skills. I like to combine them three at a time. And sometimes I combine them six at a time because you know, skills are kind of expensive. And if you combine 50 of them and you get nothing, in that half a second, you get mad. And uh, you know, just, you know, it's, it's kind of fun. It's, combining skills is kind of fun. I like, oh, I like combining them one or two at a time now there is no big rush when you are combining skills just go ahead and check the stall every so often and check the stall every 30 minutes or so and whenever you see a cheap skill go ahead and buy it and once you have three go ahead and combine it there's no rush to actually buy all the skills in the stall when a lot of the skills you will be paying a lot more than you should be. So slowly buy your skills and over the long run, you will get yourself a rare skill. Remember, it is still a 1% chance. You only, the, the average is after 100 combines, after 300 skills are combined together, you should on average get a rare skill. Now, if you're really not lucky, then you might have to combine 200 times and that might be 600 skills i i don't think many people are even more unlucky than that but it is possible but sometimes all you have to do is combine once and you will be lucky and get a rare skill so it all balances out in the long run now if you are struggling to have enough gold to make skills then it doesn't make sense to actually collect all the skills for for the path that you don't take for example on my healer i don't actually have all of the demon skills i i sell all of the demon skills it, it makes it easier because if you sell all the demon skills you will have more gold coins where you can buy more sage one and demon one skills and combine and this way you will get all of your sage four skills faster and you might be able to have more chances to get a rare skill that you need now if you get a rare skill that you don't need feel free to sell it that will give you enough gold to come to buy some more cheap skills and do it all over again until you get a rare skill that you need all right now i think i've answered all the questions you could have about rare skills Oh, there's also one more question. If you combine rare skills, would you get a rare skill? I don't know. You should try it. More than likely, no. <laughs> More than likely, it's the same percentage. 
I'm not combining three rare skills just to test this thing out, but maybe you can try it and let me know in the comments below. All right, so I am actually running out of cheap skills. There's one thing is when you buy all the cheap skills in the stall, I do recommend that you leave maybe one or two cheap skills there. This way, people will list the skills cheaper. If you buy up all the cheap skills, you may accidentally drive the prices of those skills up and that's not good for you or anybody in your class if the classes if if all the prices of the skills go up they will be more difficult for you to get those rare skills so i would recommend for you to leave a couple of cheap rare skills in there so that other people will be more willing to sell their uh, Sage 1 and Demon 1 skills for cheaper. Now, I am actually, I'm combining the Sage 2 and Demon 2 skills because I have too many and it will be impossible for me to sell them because I can sort of estimate how many Blade Masters will actually uh, class change, how many people will class change to Blade Masters and I'm pretty sure I have enough Sage 1's, I mean, I've, I have enough Sage 2 and Demon 2 skills to sell. And I made a Drake Bane. So it is possible to make rare skills when you combine Sage 2 and Demon 2 skills. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.